Welcome back to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and like this video, man. Hey, comment down below who you a big fan of, who you rocking with. Let's get right into this, man. So Charleston Weiss' main argument, his main point that he be always talking about in all of the videos is that the rappers and stuff, they're not doing as much uh, for the community as, you know, others and stuff. He's talking about, oh, what are the rappers doing? They're still showing off. They're still leading people in the wrong direction. And then Charleston White talking about how he goes to these public speaking events and he does the the things where he's trying to give back to the community. So what he's trying to say is that the rappers have to do more of the giving back to the community instead of just hopping on social media and flexing on everybody and just showing what, you know, what everybody can't get. And so that's one of his main points. And so he's always talking about calling out Boosie for, you know, one of these things as well. And he's calling out, he was calling out T.I. and everybody like that. And so, I mean, to be fair to both sides, though, you got to look at how, like, Boosie did. He tried to make that movie. He probably hired a few people from the community. So, you know, they trying, they trying out here. But I do agree that it could be a lot better job done with, like, trying to just come on, come together and, like, really provide for the community. Like, put people on, try to make it to where they actually kind of uh, teaching folks on how to actually get up and come up, bring people with them and stuff like that instead of just you know hating on the next man in your hood and hating on whatever anybody and stuff like that always competing and butting heads instead of coming together and really just trying to get this because you know two heads better than one and you can learn off of one person's failure from another but hey to each his own you know what i'm saying and so the facts of the situation is basically about how Charleston White keeps going on and saying that the the rappers and all that the influencers they have to be leading by a better example because you have to basically put your money where your mouth is because you you can't be hypocritical in this thing man because when you talk about trying to uplift the community and change this and change that and try to be you know more positive you have to do it yourself too. You can't just speak and talk the talk. You got to walk the walk with it. And so at the end of the day, it's really no problem uh, for them to be able to do that. And so it's up to them to actually want to act or like go out there and try to put people on and stuff. So that's what Charleston White is saying. And he's, I guess, from his point of view, he doesn't see enough of it. And so that's why he comes on to the platforms. He comes on to the videos and on the interviews and on the podcast. And he's always going in on the rappers because I guess to himself, he feels like he's done more for his community and for I guess he's in Fort Worth or Texas or the South or wherever he goes, right? Wherever they book him for the talking and stuff like that, he feels like he's provided more to that community than what the rappers are when they're coming and they're getting booked for a show. Because I guess if you really think about it, the rap, the, they could really, the rappers could try to put the community on, do good and do all that. But if they still promoting all that bad stuff in the music, then it really don't mean nothing because they're really just they'll do good one day and then they'll go do a concert and talk about, um, you know, doing something to somebody else or like hurting people and stuff like that. And so that's not cool to be you You can't make change like that. There, there's no way. Like, for example, if Boosie is still speaking about bad things in his music and all the street stuff that obviously by now you should know not everybody is made for that because if they were made for that then they'll stay in the streets if they really think they could be successful off of just doing whatever in the streets the way they grew up beefing with people trying to be the toughest guy on the block yeah good luck with all that because i haven't seen too many people who became successful with that type of attitude or take that type of attitude and go bring it into something real like real professional or anything where it's a legitimate way now that mentality don't work everywhere that mentality is going to stay in the, in the streets and stuff like that so when when the rappers come on and you know they give they spend a little bit of money and hand out meals or they spend a little money and do a backpack drive and giveaway that don't really do nothing because while the people are there their music is being played, promoting all the bad stuff. They're going to forget all the good stuff and just remember you for your next hit anyways. So that's really what's going on. If you if you open your eyes and look at that, then you will see that you have to be walking the top. You can't be hypocritical. You can't be saying, I helped the community. I hired people for these movies and the la-da-da. And then at the same time, 
you go and look at your music and it's destroying the community. It's destroying and, and hurting the same people that you think you helping when you go and put spend a little bit of money on them. You see what I'm saying? So it's got to be full circle all the way around. You can't be half. There's no such thing as a halfway uh, hero, a halfway this or that, right? So you're either all in or you're going to be on the other side, basically. So you got to know your role and stay in your lane. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to switch lanes. They, they'll rather stick to the street life. And that's bad because at that point, that's the they gone they gone beyond the point of no return. They already them programmed in their head that they're gonna be this way. They basically got got. A lot of people get got, man. A lot of people fall for the for the, the fake stuff. A lot of people fall for the um the commercialized everything. You know what I mean? Everybody's so materialistic these days that they be falling for everything, man. And just the fact that. You know, they get they take things personal. People be letting their emotions come into play. People with all the all the stuff that gets pumped out there. People take it and it and it just makes them more insecure. It makes them more mad, like like they can't let anybody you know outshine them and stuff. And so that's really bad and dangerous when you look at it because that's what's dividing a lot of people. So you have to realize that you can't. You got to just worry about yourself. You can't be worried about the next man. You can't be doing none of that stuff because that don't. That's none of your business, you know. If you just always worried about what someone else is doing, then you never really. Uh, focused on your own thing and you could be doing way better than that and so that's really what you got to look at and sometimes it's a lot of things where it's a lot of baggage like sometimes you got to just leave things alone you know there's certain people where you just got to leave them in the past there's certain uh, hot habits there's certain hobbies you do there's certain places you go like if you always partying and you just go into that same small town bar every day and every weekend and they all know you by name and exactly what you drink and they basically know how much you got in your account and everything like that because you just be doing the same never you know sometimes you if you want to level up you got to leave all that stuff you got to cut out the negatives you know sometimes maybe you got people around you where it's like you don't see eye to eye and stuff like that so cut them out too because of the fact that you can't just be don't the longer that you got things around you that you don't need around you, the more they're going to try to bring you down, the more that they're going to become a problem. You have to take care of these problems early on. You know, anything, anytime is about realizing that, oh, this is becoming a problem. Got to get rid of that. Got to cut it out before it comes to, you know, try to cause a bigger scene before it turns into something worse than what it already is. You know, you can't, don't make a situation worse than what it already is. Just try to cut it off. Don't make it so it don't go take off anywhere from there. Just cut it, burn it down. Boom. It's never going to get beyond that and shut it down. You know, don't basically don't let anything, you know, get to you and get in the way of your goals, uh, get in the way of your progress as long as your goals and everything is staying positive and all that. And so everything else will fall into place as long as you doing the right thing and you just you you don't really need too much people. You got a few good people. You get your family you that supports you. You get a few people that support you and everything like that. You make good networking uh, connections. You make good business partners. And you got things you you got people you know. Whereas oh I know a I know a guy that does this. I know someone that does that. You always have a hookup somewhere. So that's really how, you know, we got to communicate where we come together and we all helping each other. Like I could go to somebody that could help me with this and that. And so, but I'm not trying to like compete with them or anything like that. I'm just going to go to them when we got some kind of thing, a common understanding. So that's a, one way of thinking about it. And so really it's making those type of relationships is better than the toxic relationships where it's like people trying to flex on each other or people trying to just hate or people be DMing each other, like fighting. You know how it is where everybody that's arguing with with each, with each other in the streets, they be DMing each other. They be typing on the internet like mad, telling each other to link up, telling each other to drop the location. That's the stuff that I'm talking about that y'all need to leave alone. Stop trying to DM everybody and stop trying to get them to drop the low and all this stuff with the ops. No, all that is, is overplayed, bro. That is way back in the 2010s. This is 2022 going on 23. That stuff is left in the dust, bro. That is the past. That's broke mentality. That's the kind of stuff that is going to make it where you don't live to see 
what you could really become out here. And so unless people make that change to where, OK, they got to get get a good head on their shoulders. They got to start moving in the right direction before if you you know, you is so many times that you could get away with things before you get caught up on it. So a lot of people who still out there doing things that they could get caught up on and stuff, it's really not worth it because at the end of the day, y'all, it, it's just one slip up that's going to make it to where it could all be over with. And so you got to just keep in mind, stay humble and everything like that. Stay positive. So with all that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.